Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the difference between the text content and the inner HTML properties in the JavaScript document object model. So, um, these two properties are both very similar and they're often used interchangeably. Um, but basically, um, they're both used to add content to an element slash tag. So, um, let's actually create a new tag here um, uh, to work with. So um, let's make a new div and give it an ID of my dash div. Okay, so um, we have this div and I'm going to use um, the text content property as well as the inner HTML property um, to actually add content. So I'm going to explain the difference between these two properties. So um, inside the JavaScript, let's make a new constant which will be a reference to the myDiv um, tag. So, make a new constant, we'll call this one myDiv equal to um, the document dot get element by ID and we'll pass in my-div inside here. Okay, so now we have the myDiv um, element inside JavaScript. Okay, so let's first use the inner HTML property to add text to this div, all right, or add content, should I say. So we're going to add content to this div. So down here, um, let's say my div dot inner HTML is equal to inside here, let's put um, some text with also a strong tag. Okay, so let's say, hey, my name is Dom. We're going to surround DOM with a HTML strong tag. Okay? And this will actually make um, this DOM bold. Alright? So, if I was to save this and refresh the browser, refresh, I'll just zoom in here. We get, hey, my name is DOM with the bold and green text. Alright? So we can see the HTML that was put inside here is actually um, you know read by the browser and it's being converted to bold text alright so that's the key difference between um, this one and the text content property if I was to change this to text content we actually get the HTML in the output let's just save this and refresh and now we actually get the HTML um, inside. So um, the text content property um, will only output the actual text characters and the browser won't try to actually pass it as HTML. So this is very important when it comes to, obviously, if you would like to um, display HTML tags and make, um, make the tags actually work, you're going to want to use the inner HTML property, but if you're only displaying text, you're better off using the text content property. And this is due to um, potentially performance enhancements, I'm not too sure, but mainly due to security. So you don't actually want, you don't want user input, okay, to be displayed in the inner HTML property because that may, um, you know, that'll allow the user to actually control um, the JavaScript and the HTML on your web page. So, um, in most cases, you're going to want to use the text content property. If you want to output HTML, you're probably better off actually constructing an element using the create element property, uh, sorry, method of the document object. So, you can say document.create element and you can pass in, um, you know, a tag inside here. So, um, Try and stay away from the inner HTML property and stick to text content if you can. All right? And that is the difference between the text content and the inner HTML property. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.